I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. You're welcome to the Narrow Ways Christ for All Nations. Let us pray. O oh God, our King, here is another day. You've given me this word to speak this word to your children, and I appreciate you for making your will known expressly to us, explaining scriptures. Lord, we want to hear from you. We ask that your power will explain to us. Help me to deliver this message that you have given through me. Let us many that we hear be blessed. May this words not be used against us on the last day. Therefore, Holy Spirit, we ask for your grace. And we also ask that you give us obedient hearts. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. For those of you who are just new to this channel, those of you who are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. And also share this video because this message is important. It's going to help someone. So please share this message with someone. As I prepare for the message of today, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and gave me this message. I've been following a series. I was, I've been talking about the Holy Spirit and our body. And last week I talked about why many Christians have not been anointed. And I talked about the cleanness. And I promised that I was going to give detailed teachings about this series on cleanliness. I talked about uh, physical uncleanness. I talked about spiritual uncleanness. I, so the things I talked about, I was to break them down. Today, I supposed to talk about spiritual uncleanness. But the Lord gave me this message. So today, I'm not going to teach. I'm going to deliver this message that the Holy Spirit has given to me. Today, 4th July, 2023. So this is a message. I want to read it as usual from where I wrote it. Tell my people that they must make choices intentionally because they are already taking sides. That means they are taking sides, either the side of the devil or the side of God. This is what he's talking about. Remember today I said I was going to talk about spiritual uncleanness. The one you serve and obey is your master. Those who live for the flesh and gratify the desires of the flesh cannot reap from the wealth of the spirit. A kingdom that is divided against itself cannot stand. When Lucifer rebelled, my kingdom was divided, hence the need for the eternal separation. That means the separation, separating Lucifer by driving him from heaven, from the kingdom of heaven to the earth, awaiting judgment. Listen, tell my people that he has been separated, awaiting his doomsday, that his, that his eternal judgment shall be pronounced. Those who accuse the holy God of justice must be left. Those who accuse the holy God of justice must be left to fill up their cup of iniquities so that their judgment can be plain. The one who accused the holy God of heaven and earth of injustice is the same. Is the same one who runs his kingdom with the blood of the innocents. Without blood, his kingdom cannot stand. The same one who led rebels in my presence is the same one that is leading the disobedience on earth. Tell my people that the busy cities are doomed because there is no large city where Satan does not have his altars. Let my children be in charge of their lives. Let not the altars of the large cities control them. Tell the people of the world that the whole world is under the power of the evil one, that he may prove wrong, if he can, of wrong or justice, or of spots in his judgment and justice, when he was expelled 
from his, his exalted position. Then I saw this word. This word came in form of a quote. Behold him falling with stars, bringing many sons of men with him to the eternal fire of hell. End of quote. His eternal judgment was pronounced from the moment he fell from glory. But he was given a time to fill up the cup of his iniquities. The same eternal shame shall be upon all who take sides with him. Listen, hell wasn't created for humans. It was created for the devil and his angels, his fallen angels, those who rebel in heaven. So those of you who are taking sides with the devil, hear what Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 25, verse 41. Then shall he say also unto them, On the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed, into the everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. End of quote. Then he said to me, Now tell them that since they have refused my command to come out of her, they they all should get their desires to their field because where they are heading shall be too terrible for them. Let me read this again. Now tell them that since they have refused my command to come out of her, they all should get their desires to their field because where they are heading where they are heading shall be too terrible for them. That means he has warned that they should come out of her, come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in a punishment. When you are befriending a rebel, someone who has, whose judgment has been pronounced and is be surrounded by military men, and you befriending him. And there are armored cars, jet fighters to bomb him, to kill him. And the one who has passed the judgment is saying, come out of her. Don't be there. Don't share in a punishment. And you say, well, I want to be there. Now, this is what the Lord is saying. That since you refuse this command to come out of her, Get ready. That means get all your desires to your field because where you are heading to shall be too terrible for you. May this not be your portion, but you have to come on. Let me continue. Where are those who left earthly homes to live in the beautiful houses of, of the devil? Know that all the flashy things he has are temporal. When the Lord was speaking this to me, he revealed kingdoms of darkness in other world. I saw the, the heavenly kingdoms, flashy buildings. He was talking about the flashy buildings in the, uh, in the celestial world. There are other worlds. There are other worlds of darkness. There are kingdoms, even in the marine world. There are different kingdoms, terrestrial kingdoms, celestial kingdoms, marine kingdoms. And some people belong to these kingdoms and they are helping the devil to wreak havoc in this world. The Lord is saying that you should come out of these kingdoms because the devil has been doomed. Don't be a part of his kingdom at all. Where are those who left their earthly homes to live in the beautiful houses of the devil? Know that all the flashy things he has are temporal. His eternal home is a lake of fire. If you do not belong to him, why do you love him so much that you allow his unholy spirit to live in you? Why do you so much cherish him 
that you obey his biddings. Those of you who believe in me, yet are also active in the kingdom of darkness, you have erected another veil between the Holy of Holies and yourselves. This is because you have welcomed an unholy union into your life. From the time salvation was bought on the cross, all men have been commanded to repent and to choose their destinations. All those who must follow me must clean themselves and must come out of their dark kingdoms. If not, they shall be denied entry into my kingdom. This is a message the Lord gave me today. And I want to beg each and every one of us that we should take this message to heart. Obey this message and follow the will of the Lord. Today, I want to read this passage which I read last week. First Corinthians chapter 6, 15 to 20. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an hallowed? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an hallowed is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth, is without the body, but he that committed fornication sinned against him, against his own flesh. Let's continue. Verse 19. What know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Glorify God in your body. There are lots of people who have allowed evil spirits to live in them. And this is exactly what the Lord is saying. Do not allow any spirit other than the Holy Spirit live in your body. Please go for deliverance. The Lord is sounding a warning. A battle was in heaven. Satan, who was once Lucifer, rebelled against God and he was thrown down to this earth. He was given a time so that he can fill up his cup of iniquity. He is given a time and he is in this world wrecking havoc. Come out of her. If you are wise, please come out of her so that you don't share in his punishment. His punishment is great. His punishment is huge. We don't know everything he did. All we have is a summary. How can somebody commit so much crime? And then he's thrown down to fill up the cup of his iniquity. And then people who do not even know, people who were born like, 50 years ago, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, people who were born like 80 years ago, they are aligning with someone who rebelled thousands of years ago, over 6,000 years ago. You don't have the strength of angels. Angels excel in might. Hellfire was prepared for them. It wasn't prepared for you and I. Please call yourself to order. This is the time to repent. Give your life to Jesus Christ. And repent. The Lord is calling. Please give your life to Him. Repent. There are two kingdoms in this world. Forget about the different religions Satan has succeeded in creating everywhere. Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. If you follow Him, you are going to have life. If you have not yet given your life to Christ, I tell you the truth. You are on the wrong path. Personally, I have my conviction. 
I am not a Christian. I'm not a preacher because I was born into Christianity. I have my personal conviction. When I had accident 2010, I faced judgment. The Lord gave me a second chance and I don't want to play with that. This second chance at all. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. Those of you who grew up and discovered that another spirit is already living in your body, please don't be ashamed. Deal with it. I questioned the justice system of God some time ago. And I asked God, why is it that Satan can have access to pollute some of these children and initiate them into his kingdom? The Lord told me when they grow up, where they know the difference between good and evil, they have the choice to make. Either to choose to follow the Lord or to choose to follow the devil. But the truth is that the human carnal nature tends to cling to what is evil. Please don't be ashamed. Cry to the Lord for deliverance. Don't hide your evil. In hell, Everybody is going to be a repentant sinner. Everybody is going to confess in hell. Even the things that nobody knows of, you are going to confess them if you make it successfully to hell. Unfortunately, you won't be able to hide any sin. Confess your sins to one another. Confess to God. Repent of your evil. The world is coming to an end very soon. It's my prayer that the Lord will bless this voice in our hearts and help us to make our body clean through His grace and, and invite Him to come and live inside of us. Let us pray. Lord our King, thank you for your word that we have heard today. We appreciate you, Lord Jesus. Cleanse us. Purify us. Purify the hearts of your children. As many that need deliverance, Lord, Set their body, their spirit, their souls on fire. Reclaim them for yourself. I know, Lord, they need your grace. May your grace be available unto them. The Lord is telling me now that there is someone listening to me now. You had a dream. And you saw that your life is in danger. He said that dream is from him. It is not a demonic or an attack from the enemy it is god's warning to you please the lord wants you to reconcile with him if you reconcile you're not going to die but if you don't reconcile yourself back to him you are going to die you are a female you are a female and i see you wearing a scarf you are a female the lord wants you to repent please that evil dream you had is a warning from God. He wants you to repent. Seek help. Seek forgiveness from God. He is very much ready to see you through. Lord God, help this your children. Especially this one. Lord, help this your child. Help this your daughter, O Lord God. May the Lord God Almighty give you his grace to reach out. I am here. Details are on the screen. Contact me. Tell me I am the person. Lord, give grace to your children. Help us many that are on the path never to look back. And for us many who are not on the path or who are weak, Lord, help them to wake up and to run with untiring zeal. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Please share this video with someone. Do well to share this video. It's going to bless someone. You don't know who it is going to touch. Then again, I want to tell you that the series continue next week. Please be a part of this series. Just follow the series. I'm going to continue. Um, the, the, I'm going to continue from um, the passage we're supposed to talk about today: spiritual uncleanness. This is a message the Lord gave me, and I have to bring it in. Don't forget, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel, and the Lord God Almighty will bless you. 
thank i appreciate those who have been supporting our ministry may the lord god almighty bless you for your information we have a u.s bank account now the narrow is christ for all nations so please if you want to give lord list anything in your heart you want to give feel very free to use our account details on the screen or visit our website tnwcfan.org you are going to see other options that you can uh, use to give may the lord god almighty bless us so that this race we're running we will finish it at the feet of jesus christ god bless you see you next time bye bye